Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Pisceans and it's for June onwards 2024. I hope you'll enjoy it my dear viewers. My dear Pisces, I hope it helps you see everything where you're at and what you need to know and all the important factors that are relevant for you at this point in time, June onwards. So I'll first start by showing you what your coffee cup looks like. As always, there is so much going on. So much information, so many, so much. Right, and I'll start right at the beginning. Now, my dear Pisces, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you, my dear viewers. And I want you to all be aware, for those of you who are new, that prior to the coffee cup, I meditate and get in contact with guiding angels that want to deliver messages. If there is any message that's given to me for all Pisces, I write it on a piece of paper. And I deliver this to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that. Now, let me begin by putting my glasses on and let us begin. Let's see. What's the first thing we see here? Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, it looks like to me you were feeling maybe a bit agitated, maybe. Finding it hard to um, accept a situation. But now, slowly, you're getting to understand why this is happening. You need to pay attention to focus on when you are thinking about something so that it doesn't affect your health. Okay, I am showing a little bit health here. Uh, there is something to do maybe with your digestive system. Um, it's funny, I did see that with another sign, but I don't remember which one. Hmm. Maybe when you are thinking, your thoughts are making you feel sort of, um, maybe you're not chewing well, or maybe there's something that you're eating that might not be good for you. There could be something with the digestive system that needs your attention. And I also feel like there could be something that you're wanting to say and you're not saying it, you're holding back and you're sort of, you know, um, conversations maybe are hurting you. Maybe it's time for you to change your food, the process of the way you eat or what you eat. Um, maybe you need to eat things that are more easier uh, to digest. I just feel like, you know, this could be either metaphorically or literally. So there could be something that you're finding hard to digest. Maybe something that's happening around you in your life. You're finding it difficult to accept. Um, the, the most important factor here, what I'm seeing is like, the, the universe are saying, your guardian angels, through this reading, through this cup, are saying to remain faithful. Don't lose your faith, no matter what. No matter how much you think like, okay, there we go. A little bit like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, stay faithful. Don't lose your faith. Um, and at the same time, try not to create problems by maybe being a little bit over demanding of others sometimes even of yourself expecting or like i said um being overly demanding you've just got to let go a little bit and relax a little bit and sort of like even though the people around you just be a little bit more softly go more softly be more gentle and be more patient i know you probably some of you might say we're out of patience we can't handle this anymore or maybe um, I, I don't want this. I love I love the being who I am. But you need to be a little bit more flexible. You need to be a little bit more. You have to adapt to change. Adaptability now seems to be very important. You have good skills. You have good managerial skills. You work well with others. You just have to achieve some sort of balance so that you're not... Um, you know, you got to have control. I, I feel like some of you may be not having enough control over your life. And that's why you're maybe um, becoming sort of a little bit impatient and maybe um, not so much flexible. Flexibility seems to be the only way now to maneuver your way into the next level. Perseverance is very important. A little bit of patience. I feel like um, about two to four weeks maybe. Up to four months, I'd say something big is going to happen. Something that you've been waiting for for a long time, maybe, or a lot of revelations are coming out. It looks to me a lot of truth is going to be revealed. A lot of information is going to be uh, 
leaked out where you will get to see the truth you get to know what's going on things that were hit, hidden from you you get to finally find out secrets um you know there, there's some information that's coming all the confusion is getting uh you know released because you're getting to know the truth You've been like easily distracted due to your work or due to so much that you're doing. Distraction, that distraction needs to be minimized so that you are ready for what is coming or what is being revealed. Because what gets revealed, it's going to help you, yes, to have clarity and see where you stand. But at the same time, it might be a little bit hard to digest. So, because what I'm seeing is somebody standing and holding their ground and fighting for what they believe in. Like standing your ground and saying no, being assertive. Um... It's like as though soon you'll be freed from this uh, dilemma. There's going to be freedom. I also feel like, you know, you have the advantage now. You are going to win. Where you have lost before, where you couldn't win now, you've got the advantage. So stand up for yourself and for your ideas. You won't regret it. I feel like taking action now is going to help you complete a, a cycle, a chapter. There's something about um, brainwashing, as though somebody's been brainwashed and this is coming in the open. Brainwashing. Maybe it's to do with religion, maybe to do with um, political matters, maybe to do with social ma matters. It's something about brainwashing that needs to be addressed. I, I don't know how this is uh, affecting you or could be affecting someone near you or someone to do with you, like family member perhaps. It says here, it shows to me that there's something that you're trying to safeguard it. Um, this situation. It's it's something you can't. You can't save it. You can't safeguard it. It's something that is going to happen. You need to face up the truth. You need to face up what is in front of you. Because you can't safeguard something that is about to... Uh, maybe collapse or maybe uh, it's not right or maybe um, th there's a disruption that's taking place and there's nothing you can do you've got to just come to terms with it and be honest be honest more than anything else there's a lot of spiritual strength here spiritual intervention in this situation I do feel like it's going to be a situation where uh, it's going to be very challenging and there is this challenge where you have to overcome and you've got to be very strong and you've got to be prepared for it. Um, it could be emotional, physical. You're tired. and But there is constant battle, constant conflict and setbacks in your life. So it says like this could be the last challenge possibly. Maybe it's the last challenge and it'll be over, completely over. Because you, you're running out of patience. Inner strength and your perseverance is going to do this. It's going to see you through no matter what. No matter how bad it gets, you are going to be out of this without a, without a doubt. This chapter of your life is coming to an end. This is a chapter where you are feeling defeated. There's nothing more you can do. You've done everything. This difficult time will provide you insights and growth. You will grow from this. You will learn from this. You will expand. There could be public shame or dishonor maybe leaving a relationship getting divorced in a different culture where these things are not accepted there could be something like that but it happens at a time where there is a small tornado because i'm seeing a tornado here something is crashing something's falling apart some sort of a disaster like a tornado connected to air energies maybe air energy my dear Pisces, somebody that's air or somebody that might have air energy in them, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I do see like something like a tornado, a tower, a crisis, something falling apart. But there's freedom. There's freedom. That's the good new news. Something is ending, something challenging, um, and it's coming to an end, an absolute end. Yes, there is grieving over this broken situation. It could be a relationship. It could be... Uh, but later, I'm, I'm seeing that you're realizing it, that it was for the best. So, something's been removed in your life, from your life. Someone or something, I think it's something for some, someone, it's rather than something, is by this tornado, it's been removed. There's a lot of teaching and learning, a lot of spiritual growth. There's matters of parenting. 
situations to do with parenting. There could be a child that's removed. There is a situation with parenting, but surrendering is the only way. Letting go and surrendering. Overcoming the challenge by surrendering. Very interesting, my goodness. Destiny seems to be interven intervening in this situation. Destiny is coming in and doing its thing. Very bizarre. Mm, absolutely shocking. What I'm seeing here, it's connected to parenthood. Connected to something that's... Destiny is intervening. And f fate doesn't allow you doesn't give you enough control in your hands. It's taking it out of your hands. Things are going out of your hands so that this situation will move forward. There is a promise for a better life, a better future, but at this point in time, you won't be able to see that because it looks to me like, you know, it's a situation where you're losing control. Then after this, I'm seeing accomplishments. I'm seeing achieving something wonderful. I'm seeing competition. But there is also a little bit of failure. So that failure may be a situation where, you know, um, from it you will grow and learn and expand. The good news is I'm seeing a beautiful chest here, a chest of gift maybe. You'll be res receiving a gift, a beautiful gift. Um, trust in the divine plan that you are going to be overcoming a challenge and succeeding. And there's a lot of happiness coming your way. You need to pay attention to your work. That's very important, paying attention to your work. I see that you put plans and they're in motion now. Maybe there were things that you had intended even. They're now moving forward. They're taking their time, but some of you are taking time off, actually. That's what it looks like, taking time off and really looking at getting things moving. Some of you are working in team together with others. Some of you are building new strategies in regard to something. Spending wisely, but looking at the long term and how to put strategies as though you are in the military and you're putting all these strategies, you know, a leader kind of thinking. But seeing things through and things are, um, you know, you're thinking things very well. You're thinking things through and things are moving through very well. Financially and your health both together, they're at question. I don't know why they're questioning this. Like um, Maybe because you're not taking the necessary steps to improve your well-being. Maybe eating healthy is important, promoting foods and like incorporating exercise, walking in your daily life. You have, a, you have good fortune and a wonderful life. You just need to pay attention a little bit to your well-being, to exercising and, and your eating, eating healthy food, wholesome food. Um, I do see that there is an, an incredible project that is, there's a breakthrough um, in regard to this project. So it's going to work out wonderfully. I see great victory. I see decisions that should be guided with what is fair and just for all. Very important. Um, and you'll see that problems will disappear once the, the situation is dealt with properly with true and honorable way. There is going to be a great victory without a doubt. If you're worried about money, I see money is coming to you big time. A lot of money. You have to accept prosperity in your life. It's going to change your life. You've got to be aware that there will be unlimited wealth coming to you, prosper prosperity. And you know, you'll be doing probably what you love doing, but following your dreams, you know, everything. You gotta believe in yourself. You will succeed, you will have it all, but you gotta remember you can't have it all. So then and sometimes in some cases you do get the wealth, something else is uh, sort of like removed from your life. Maybe it was to do with that removal that we talked about before. So um I do see one of your wishes being granted for sure. I do see that a time of um, contact with someone, contacting with someone, it's really going to dramatically change your life. You're uniting in thought and in plans, planning together. Um, there's strong, even strong love between two people is starting, actually. You're entering a, life, a time of a lot of harmony, a lot of satisfaction. 
Your emotional needs are going to be fulfilled very soon. I do see opportunity or a windfall coming in your life and changing your way, your concept and making you so busy. So busy. It's one of your wishes actually. A wish being granted right in front of your eyes is going to be shocking. You're going to be shocked. It's solving most of your problems. Your dreams are coming true, but there is an emotional part of your life that's not in peace. That might change, actually. You'll enjoy your success. So many rewards are coming your way. There is a relationship that might be starting that's very playful. There's a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of um, playfulness and fun. A relationship that's, you know... It's like somebody really wants you. It's like, yeah, you can have me in that kind of a situation, like having each other, wanting each other. You know, don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. You don't want to lose them. That kind of relationship. Even though freedom is a major question mark, like you both want each other so much and you both want your freedom and your freedom time away from each other. So, But success is there now. Um, you know, this kind of love, sometimes maybe a bit scary because you love being with each other but then you want your separate time your time alone so sometimes you find it hard to talk what you want to say you keep it inside uh, maybe you want to talk about that freedom that you thrive and strive for in a relationship but i do see one thing that's great there's compromise so you're willing to compromise they're willing the other party is willing to compromise maybe you're you are going to compromise to a certain level where you can just close this um, here. Yes, uh, as I was saying, my dear viewers, compromise is possible, you know. I do see that you're embracing each other's emotions and allowing your feelers, feelings to sort of like come out in the open and be accepted. So uh, something like maybe you haven't, you hadn't done before you're doing now i also feel like that's going to be overcoming a challenge this year your focus is going to be on love and healing from love healing because of love looking looking for the good in everything and everyone this is the year that teaches a lot of lessons the year of the dragon i see a lot of healing coming um, in your life especially uh, like now and this year from June, July. July actually starts from July onwards. The only thing that's important at this point in time is love, compassion. And with that, you will have freedom and you will have understanding and you will have unconditional loving and you will have um, compassion to, to see the other person or what they want and what their needs are. You are about to meet someone, someone wonderful, faithful, someone loyal. Through them, you are recognizing the qualities within yourself and you know and and you 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 sort of like you want this person forever it's like you're thinking of a wedding you're thinking of marrying this person you're thinking to be with this person forever if it's not marriage like i i do see a wedding i do see marriage being talked about future i'm also seeing like a honeymoon being talked about or some of you taking time out and going on a retreat together you know, disconnecting from the world and you're realizing when you disconnect, you have this certain feeling that you want it together forever. This person could be an air energy, my dear um, Pisces. They could be, uh, they could have very strong Gemini and Libra. Libra being the strongest, Gemini, but Gemini with Virgo. They might be air and like a Gemini with Virgo. That's what I'm seeing here, united. Libra or Libra. There's four Libra. There's two Gemini with Virgo next to them. So it shows to me that it's a Gemini Virgo kind of a personality. This person has also fire energy. A lot of Sagittarius. There's great Sagittarius in them. There's also Leo and a little bit of Aries. But Sagittarius, the strongest here. Right. There's water energy here. Cancer being the strongest. Strong Cancer in this person. They might have a little bit of Pisces and just one Scorpio. So they might have a little bit of Pisces, like me, but Cancer is the strongest. They've got Earth energy. Again, I will say Virgo. Virgo, very strong. And then there is a little bit of Capricorn in them. So this person is made out of all this. Or maybe this could be two, three people, two people that you're dealing with on a daily basis, June onwards. And you are 
in the midst of this that the explanation that i explained these star signs oh by the way there is also one taurus i just realized at the bottom here right there um the reason I'm, I, I give you these uh, star signs so that you know this, this is who you'll be consumed with and dealing with on a high level between from June onwards. Uh, and to me, it looks like a combination of someone that could have Taurus in them with Libra. Libra is very strong. They could have Cancer, Virgo, Gemini and Sagittarius, all of that sort of you know so there could be two different people but they're the star signs and the strong the strong ones there now i'm seeing chinese ear of the tiger one two three four chinese ear of the dragon one two three wow so tiger being the strongest here chinese ear of the buffalo here ox buffalo the buffalo goes perfect with the tiger um and i'm seeing also the pig here chinese ear of the pig the buffalo does go well also with the dragon to be quite honest let me just move it a little bit Yes, Chinese ear of the pig here. The pig then there's the horse. Chinese ear of the horse and the pig, they go well together. Beautiful dog. I see a beautiful dog here, the face of a dog. Someone very loyal, someone very trustworthy, someone that you will truly adore. Beautiful face. Do you see the eyes, the nose? Have a look at the face of the dog here. Does it come up here? Yeah, look at it. There it is. And that's the nose and that's the mouth. You see that? Someone very loyal. Could be Chinese ear of the dog here, very strong. I'm seeing the pig here. I'm seeing the horse and the horse and the pig. They go well together. Chinese ear of the monkey is incredible there too. And what was that last one there? Rooster. Yeah, they're roosters. Two roosters. I thought it was uh, my goat, but it's not. It's too small. A rabbit. No, it is it is 100% rooster. So rooster goes very well with monkey. And that's that one. Now let's have a look at the messages that we have for you here. We're doing good for time. It says your expectations will be granted, just like the, the wish. I saw the wish, remember here somewhere? Where was it? I saw the wish, and now they're saying your expectations will be granted. So whatever you're expecting, which are your wishes and your desires? We don't need the glasses anymore, thank goodness. Now, um, decisions. There are decisions that you need to make. It says uh, I was given a well of water. Water, your feelings, your emotions, truth emotions and faith but all together with water so first you need to drink water just increase your uh, water intake very important a few sips of water all throughout the day and night then we've got the truth facing up to the truth we saw that at the beginning of your cup and um, your emotions and having faith don't lose faith in situations we've got virgo here virgo i was given virgo Hmm. remember i said there's virgo gemini mixed together with sagittarius there's that virgo gemini and um, this person has got a beautiful combination my dear pisces they've got earth in them and then there is fire which keeps you warm there's a lot of warmth with this person sagittarius and there was leo also some have leo some have sagittarius some have both but um there was also libra to keep um, the the air flowing, which makes it really, you know, sometimes turbulent in some cases with expression, but but incredibly uh, sexual heat, sexual height, uh, sensuality, chemistry, very high. Okay, it says here fairy. Now fairy is all about crossing over. Um, it means you're reaching to the next level. And it means that some of you will be dealing with someone leaving. Someone is leaving wow right after fairy crossing over then you've got someone leaving someone is leaving something about their perfume so you know what we're talking about someone's perfume their perfume there'll be nothing left very sad okay so it says fire extinguisher and the crow red flags be aware of red flags pay attention to red flags fire extinguisher that means first they could be this could be a clue this person that's leaving may have fire energy in them sagittarius aries leo and it says distance yourself from a harmful situation how important this is wow I just put my glasses back on yes the fire extinguisher it says there's crows and red flags, so be aware. But it says, distance yourself from a harmful situation. Mm, nothing is left. Their perfume, someone leaving. That's very, very sad and painful. But everything happens for a reason. Let's have a look. 
Now we've got initials. Let's see who, what are the initials. We've got twice given. I was twice given the letter M for money, Mexico. C for cat, Charlie. N for Norway, no. Q for quilt or quails. Twice I was given U for umbrella or upper. E for elephant, eggplant. J for Jerusalem, Japan. B for butterfly and B, bumblebee. R for Rome or rooster. A for Antarctica or Alaska. I was also given number nine, Chinese ear of the monkey. I was given uh, the, the Chinese ear of the monkey. The nine is also uh, people born in September. September itself impacting you on a grand scale. And um, uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Nine. Nine. Oh, my God. I've just gone blank, my dear viewers. Just bear with me. I did see nine here. I forgot to talk about it, what was around it. But I now remember because it's here now. I remember it was given to me. But I was trying to remember what it was. Anyway, nine is about a challenge. One challenge that you will overcome, without a doubt, there will be over, uh, overcoming a challenge. September is going to be really important, really important in your life. Something big is happening. I'm going to take off these rings sometimes. They stand in my way. Okay. Um, and also, um, September is connected to Virgo and Libra. One last challenge and then it'll be over. There's going to be happiness and rewards and entertainment and fun after the challenge. A lot of rewards. And also the nine is about ending. Some, something could be ending around September or reaching to its end. And But don't forget, don't forget, everything happens for a reason when somebody is leaving. There is a new destiny. Someone incredible is coming. Your expectations will be granted. Um there's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of um, change that's happening. And the unicorn. Oh, I didn't see the unicorn. It says the unicorn. A unique change. Changes that are taking place. Something is ending. And something unique is taking place in your life. And that is the end of your reading, my dear Pisces. That was very deep. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And please support the channel by subscribing to it if you haven't. It's absolutely free. And if you want to... Tip me in any way in case you enjoy what I'm doing and you appreciate it and you want to give me a tip, always click on one or two ads and just let them run. You don't have to watch them. That means a lot to me. And also, please don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end uh, without stopping it. That supports me big time also. I wish you abundance of blessings. I wish you a lot of healing when this someone is leaving. Um, I wish you the best that's coming and all your expectations being granted. That is incredible. Not to mention the wish that I saw here, which is being granted. So I wish all that for you with everything that I've seen. All my blessings.